Hello Code Gurus, welcome back. So as a part of this video tutorial, we will go ahead and see how to create a responsive card layout using our Quasar framework. All right then, let's get started. So now as per our prototype, this is uh, the features lesson section is the one which we are going to create. And uh, while, while creating this feature lesson section, we will learn how to create a responsive card layout. So as per the prototype, uh, we need one row for our featured lesson, the other row for our uh, actual card which displays the featured lesson information. So let's go, go ahead and uh, try to create our featured lesson first and le then let's come back and try to create a separate uh, uh, row for our card. All right then, let's proceed to our IDE. So the first and foremost is we need to go ahead and create a row. So how do you create a row? All you have to do is just create a div and just uh, add apply a class called as row class. That's it. So it will automatically go ahead and create a row for us. Now what is the next important thing? Just go back and inside that create one more div in order to in order to write our text over there. So here I'll just go ahead and say div and uh, I'll just go ahead and write our text. As per our prototype, we need a text called as featured lessons. All right. So now let's go ahead and say class is equal to. So I want to make it a bit of like a header. So what we can do is there is a predefined class available from our Quasar framework called as text hyphen H5. Now, if you want to make that text look a bit bold, you can even go ahead and say text hyphen bold. Now let's save this thing. and go to our page. Uh, looks like we have some syntax error. So that's excellent. Yeah, so here we forgot to close that div tag over here. That is the reason why we got a syntax error. So let's go back to our IDE. So here you could see we got our featured lesson section, but uh, we need somewhat spacing between on the left side as well as on the uh, maybe top side should be fine. So again, how do we go ahead and apply the spacing on the left side? If you remember in our previous video tutorial, we have said uh, if you want to apply some padding, we just simply say uh, padding. Where you want to apply it is on the left and uh, you can go ahead and give sizes from extra small to uh, small to medium. So here I'll just go ahead and say it as like medium. Now let's go ahead and see whether that uh, change has applied or not. So now here you can see now on the left side of the uh, the featured lesson section there is a decent gap available over there for us. Now let's go ahead and create our actual responsive card uh, over here. Now let's go ahead and what we need to do is we just need to go ahead and create one more div and call that div as row. So over here I'll just simply say class is equal to row. So that's it. So now inside this row we are going to create a class. Before we go ahead and create a class what we need to do is we need this entire uh, UI or this entire row to be responsive. So in order to make it as a responsive all you have to do is create a responsive column. Yes. So one single row and one single column will make that entire section to be a responsive uh, column. So over here I'll just go ahead and create it as a new div. So now all I have to just simply say is class. Now if you remember in our feature uh, previous video tutorial again how do you create your responsive column you just need to say column call hyphen 12 and call hyphen md. So this will, uh, this classes will automatically create this particular row as a responsive column. Cool. So now what is the next step? Now in this step, we are going to apply a card. So now how can I create a card? So you can, you can go to your Quasar website. So just go to your Quasar website. On top left corner you have this doc section click on the doc section now over here uh, you should see a search bar and just simply say card 
So now over here there is a already a predefined view component called as Q hyphen card. So we are going to create a similar kind of card uh, on our uh, in in our uh, present application. So now if you just you can randomly select any one of the card, maybe this card which we have chosen in our previous video tutorial. So you can see over here in order to create a card, you just need to say Q hyphen card and give a class as my card. So what we will do is we'll just literally copy and paste the same code for that card in our uh, present column over here. So I've just literally copy pasted uh, the same card uh, code. And uh, now let's go ahead and see in our web application, how does that look like? So now over here, you can see it looks exactly like it has created a card, but not as per uh, the standards which we needed. So that's perfectly fine. So if you see over here, when, whenever I'm just trying to uh, resize the screen, it is automatically resizing. So that means we achieved our first goal. So we have created that card somewhat to be responsive, but the layout should be a bit different. So as per our prototype, if you see over here, we have the image of our course and uh, maybe the title of the course and the description of the course. So we will go ahead and try to fix that. So now let's go back to our IDE. So now what we need to do as per, uh, so there is no video section. Let's get rid of that video section. And uh, we will even get rid of our uh, card section over here. So I'll just, I'm just clearing up. So in order to create a card at the bare minimum, you just need to simply say Q hyphen card and class is equal to my hyphen card. So that's perfectly fine. So now what is the next step? So if you go back to your prototype again, so this content inside your card is actually again a one more virtual row over here. So this entire uh, card content is called as, is, uh, is considered to be one more row. So this is exactly one more row and this is like two different columns. But if you see over here, one column is like uh, maybe a bit small and the other column is a bit bigger. How do you create those uh, columns with the rest, uh, with uh, various widths? Let's go to your Quasar uh, documentation and have a look at that. So here we are just need to go ahead and simply say it as like, uh, uh, or else you can directly go to your layout section. There is something called as column. Now over here, if you see, uh, there should be a section called as uh, variable uh, length of columns over here. So if, here, if you see over here, uh, uh, one sec, not that one. Maybe let's go to your uh, grid row. Yeah. So now over here, if you see, we have a column with a bit wider and the other column with a shorter width. So how they have created that? If you see over here, the wider one, all they are trying to accompany is the number in order to go ahead and uh, give the percentage of width which it can occupy. So here you can see this guy is occupying 60% of the page width and the remaining uh, two columns are occupying like equal uh, amount of width which is uh, remaining after your middle column has occupied. So now we will be using the exactly the same formula. So as I said earlier, first we need to create a row inside our column, uh, sorry, inside our card. So how do you create that again? You just need to simply say div class is equal to row. Now what is the next thing? You need to create two different columns which are responsive. So here again, how do you create two different columns? Just simply create two different div tags. So here we have created two different div tags and this div tags or this column should be responsive. How can we create this as responsive? All you have to just simply say class call hyphen 12 and call hyphen md hyphen four. So this one will say uh, uh, create a column bit with uh, a bit uh, smaller width. Now similarly, I'll just go ahead and create one more column over here, which is again should be responsive. So here I'll just say whatever the remaining 
size is available just go ahead and occupy so here I'll just simply say text so here I'll just say dummy text so here again I'm just simply saying it as dummy text save go back to our website so now over here you could see literally it has uh, taken 40 percent and this guy has taken the remaining percentage of the width that's excellent so now as per prototype what we need to do we need to go ahead and create an image over here so again how do we go ahead and uh, uh, add an image inside our quasar so rather than dummy text over here what we need is uh, we need an image so we have a tag called as q hyphen image and this guy takes a, a argument called as src so now under this src we need to give the give uh, path of our image so now if you see over here under uh, uh, the statics folder I have already copied a PNG image under a section called as featured courses. So here all I have to say is statics slash featured underscore courses slash so here I'm just simply saying getting started quasar dot png that's the image which I have copied so now let's go ahead and see how how is that uh, how that how that uh, image looks on our web page so now if you see over here it looks exactly perfectly fine as we expected but if you see over here uh, I want to give a bit of uh, width uh, uh, around uh, the entire uh, image so how can I go ahead and do a bit of padding so now it's 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 done on the uh, the column level so I'll just simply say Q hyphen padding on all the directions I want to give it as a MD so now if I just save that now you could see it is uh, maybe the M MD is somewhat a bit bigger or else I'll just simply go ahead and simply say it as like excess somewhat better or you could even stick with the default one that should be perfectly fine so now over here on the right side we need to go ahead and create our uh, uh, text for our um, for the title as well as the description of this featured course so now where do we create that so that falls under this section over here under this dummy text cool so now what we will do is uh, we will just go back and I'll just simply create one more div so now under this div what am I going to do is uh, I'm just going to simply say it as like full stack or I'll just simply say getting started with Quasar and AWS hyphen amplify frameworks so now I'll just save this let's go back to our uh, browser and see how this looks like so now over here you could see that's the text uh, which uh, we needed that's perfectly fine but I want to give it some style so as per a prototype it is a bit of like a bold and uh, maybe a bit bigger bigger text and all the other stuff right let's go ahead and apply that uh, styles to this guy so now again how do you apply it's pretty simple you just need to simply say class uh, as uh, sorry apply a class on that div so now over here uh, we will just go ahead and say the text as h5 because all the headings till now we have been calling it as h5 and maybe call the text as a bit bit bolder so now let's go ahead and see how that looks like so it's somewhat better but it doesn't align with our image right so from the top and uh, I, I even want to give some sort of a gap between the text and the image over here so what you need to do you need to go ahead and apply a bit of padding on your left as well as on the top so now go back to your IDE so here I just want to apply a bit padding on your left maybe MD let's see how that looks like it has uh, gone a bit uh, right side that's perfectly fine and I even want to apply padding on top so here I'll just simply say uh, Q hyphen PT 
on uh, I'll just we need to match that thing with the uh, the text which we have the padding which we have given over here so here I'll just maybe I'll just call it as excess and see how it goes so maybe it is there but uh, XS sorry small could be a bit better yes so this one looks a bit better than the previous one so that's excellent so now if you see over here we have got the image and we even got our uh, text let's see if this guy is still maintaining the responsive or not so now over here if you see the featured section this guy is absolutely maintaining our responsiveness over here so this card has automatically, if you see over here, this row has become automatically, the text which was on the right side has now automatically adjusted itself on the bottom of your uh, row. So I'll just uh, make it uh, to your desktop mode. Now we'll just go ahead and add maybe some description to this. So here I'll just simply say div. So first we'll go ahead and see add some dummy description over here and let's see how that comes up so now over here you could see our dummy description has appeared over here so but uh, here in case of your description what we will do is uh, we will just leave it as it is and uh, maybe apply some padding to it and make it perfect that's it so here uh, inside this description what I'll do is I'll actually write that so in this course so I'll, I'm just writing some uh, random description over here so about our getting started uh, with uh, Quasar and AWS Amplify so here I'll just say you will uh, in this course you will learn about how to set up development any romance for creating multi platform platform apps so some description some dummy description which I've given over here so now I'll just save it I'll just go back over here so you can see that's a bit of description which we needed inside our course but it has to align our header and maybe I, I needed uh, we need some sort of gap between these two also so again you guessed it correct all you have to do is just apply a bit of padding and everything should be fine so here I'll just go back to our IDE over here now I'll just simply say class maybe a Q hyphen padding on all the directions and I'll just simply say it as SF and let's see how that so maybe I think it needs a bit more. I'll just simply say it as MD. So now over here, this looks exactly perfectly fine. So now over here, if I just try to ref, uh, resize the screen, you could see these two guys are automatically trying to align perfectly fine. So this, this is how we go ahead and create a responsive card layout. So what is the magic which we have done? The magic which was happening over here is this row which we have created inside this uh, card. So this row is actually aligning itself as two different, uh, when you are viewing in a desktop mode, uh, it is showing two different columns. And similarly, when you are viewing the same row in your mobile mode, it is trying to create two different rows and one column uh, layout over here so if you want a reference example on our quasar documentation you could see something called as uh, under your responsive classes you should see something called as uh, maybe vertical alignment I believe um, horizontal alignment no, not this classes yeah so this is the uh, example which we have taken so here stacked to horizontal so now what I've done is I've literally taken inspiration from this code so over here if you see when it is in your uh, desktop mode it is like single row and three columns now when we are going to your uh, mobile mode or uh, tablet mode what it has become it has become one column and three different rows 
So we have literally taken the same logic, so I've row and applied the columns over there. But instead of uh, some dummy text, we have created in one column as image and the other column as like a text. That's it. So this is how you go ahead and try to uh, use your existing uh, behaviors and try to create a responsive layouts inside your Quasar. So now if you see this uh, application in, in your mobile, so I just go ahead and refresh it. So now over here you could see it has perfectly aligned even for our mobile application over here. So our image is shown and our text is shown perfectly fine over here. So this is how you go ahead and create a responsive card layout inside our Quasar application. I hope you have enjoyed this video tutorial. If yes, please do like, comment and share this video with your friends. And also please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon in order to get instant notifications for our weekly premiere shows. And we are also available on Twitter at CodeGuru underscore IO and on Facebook at uh, CodeGuru.io. Thank you.